Okay. 1961 Chevrolet Corvette in beautiful fawn beige with fawn beige interior. One of the most beautiful color combinations they've ever done. We're just going to take a quick look around the car. Don't mind my uh, commentary. I'll try to fill in what I can, but you'll be able to see the most. I'll try not to get you too seasick as we walk up to the car. Let's start at the engine. Um, 283, 245, oh, no, I'm sorry, 283, 230 horse. It's a single four barrel carb. Uh, very nice, very original looking engine compartment. Will be one exception, which I'll mention a little bit later, but it looks very good. Back away a little bit again, get a quarter shot of the car. We keep messing with the lighting here to try to get it in the best light to show you, uh, but we have so much light coming in from the windows it's a little difficult. But this shot begins to let you see how good the paint and the bodywork are on this car. Very original car. It's obviously been repainted, but it was repainted a long time ago. The chrome. There's a couple little dings in it. You can see if you look carefully. I'll try to focus in on a few of them, but first let's just get a shot of it. There's the front end. That will come in a little tighter. On this one rub strip to the upper part of the grill, uh, you can see a couple little, just very minor dings. I wouldn't even call them a ding, but a slight depression but I wouldn't want it to be a surprise to the buyer uh, the rest of it looks really good they appear to be re-chromed original bumpers uh, they definitely do not appear to be uh, reproduction but obviously I could tell they were re-chromed at some point very nice looking very good hood looks beautiful you'll see the change in the light as the cameras trying to adjust to all that background light Over here, I think it'll give a better picture of the paint. Um, can't go back much further. Um, but there you go. There's the side. The white coves really set it off nicely. The wheels and tires, very period correct. Beautiful hubcaps. They all look beautiful. We'll come down the side, look at the other one. Of course, that's the passenger side. Let's move up. Again, I'm trying to stay out of that light. There's the top and the engine compartment from this side. We'll go up and get a little closer look. And right now is where I'll say uh, I'll knock uh, $10 off the price of the car if someone can find what's not original in here for a 1961. Maybe I'll help you. Eh, it's not coming up good in the focus. I'll try to get it from the other side. There is one thing. Wipers look good. The windshield looks really nice. Um, again, the lighting's hurting here, but I'll get that from the driver's side. Interior. Gives you a pretty nice shot. Looks very factory, very standard. Just the way it should be. Very nice, very original. Uh, you can clearly see most of this is indeed original to the car. Uh, this has not been a restored vehicle. This is just a very nicely kept. It's actually a California car. We'll tell you a little bit about its history as we go on. Uh, it was owned actually by a pilot when uh, Top Flight or Top Gun Flight School was out at Miramar in California uh, back in the 60s. A pilot owned this car and he was stationed there. He ultimately became director of the Top Flight School for a year or two. So that's pretty interesting history for a Corvette. And we have that in the book documented with names, dates, uh, so on. There's the car. Um, come around again. And there you go, your period correct license plate. Part of my shakiness trying to get down there to get it for you. Uh, but there's the back end of the car. Coming from the rear quarter. Body works beautiful on the car. Paint works beautiful on the car. I will go back in a moment and focus on the couple flaws that we found. 
open it up on the driver's side. Again, highly original and looks very, very nice. Point out one thing while I'm doing this. The car is a 283, 230 horse. Originally, it was a three-speed manual. Currently, if you look at it, you'll see it is a automatic. Um, we bought this car. We located it special for a customer who insisted on fawn beige with fawn beige. But he also insisted on two other things. The car had to have an automatic transmission. At the time, I refused to put in a two-speed cast iron power glide. So we went with a three-speed turbo 350. But looking at the car from here or anywhere outside other than underneath, you'd never know it was done. Uh, it uses a stock shifter. Uh, we have a custom plate for it indicating the gear selection. Uh, it, it looks very good and looks very factory. The only thing you can tell down here is obviously uh, there's no more second pedal or a clutch pedal, it's just a brake. I will quickly add, we have the original three-speed transmission, the bell housing, uh, flywheel, all the clutch assembly, all the clutch gear, everything that was changed out, we have. Uh, so the car can be delivered either as an automatic as it is, uh, or if someone wants it back to the three-speed, we can certainly do that. Uh, that would be a little extra. Uh, the parts to convert it back would be included with the car. So you could keep it as the manual or as the automatic that it is, uh, but if ever you wanted to have the car judged and restore it to uh, its original manual transmission, you could. Also, the other thing I was mentioning in the engine compartment, and, and the doors, by the way, the trim, everything looks really nice. Uh, I wouldn't call it a 100% concourse car. Uh, but it's a very strong 93, 95, somewhere in there. It's a very nice car. Again, largely original. Okay. The other piece in the engine compartment that you'll notice, um, this little reservoir right there, it has power steering. We added uh, a power steering unit to the car because the owner also insisted it needed power steering. So we put it in. We didn't cut a thing. Uh, we have the original column and everything else to put it back to manual should someone want it. Uh, but currently, as the car is configured, it has an automatic three-speed turbo 350 with power steering. You'll also notice if you look at the windshield, uh, this car was in the Lingenfelder Museum out in Michigan. Uh, that's where we actually found it for the customer we purchased it for. Uh, so the car actually sat in that museum for a number of years. I forget exactly how long. Uh, but when you say a museum show car, uh, yeah, I would say that's how you define this one, although it's been driven somewhat. Uh, but it's an extremely, if you call it a driver, you certainly better call it an extremely high quality driver. Uh, it is in judgeable condition should one want to take it through uh, either NCRS or Bloomington, but of course you'd have to deal with the transmission and the power steering. Or pay us to do it for you up front if you want it done. Okay. We'll have about 30 or 40 still pictures of this same car, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a, a different vantage point from it. Hopefully this picked up some of the nice nuances of the paint. All right, thank you very much for looking at it, and call me if you have any questions on the car. This is Marty at Conti's Corvettes. Thanks for your interest.